does your forex chart look like this? Now, if your forex charts look like this, then you need to stop, okay? You need to stop and you need to watch this video, okay? In this video, I'm going to tell you why you are actually losing money through using indicators and why indicators are actually more damaging to your trading success if you're using them in this manner, okay? So what you're looking at right now is actually a uh, chart, kind of like an analysis that I pull off um, tradingview.com, okay? Uh, I hope the person, Alan Masters, is not watching this video, but I um, just thought that this is a very um, typical, uh, you know, mistake made by uh, new Forex traders, okay? So the first thing you want to know is that uh, this is not how professional traders trade, okay? I've been trading for about, I think, 18 years, okay? And this is how my chart looks like, okay? It's clean, right? You don't see any indicators, okay? So why do, you know, why, why do... Uh, why, why does indicators not work in this case, okay? So let me address that first. The number one reason is because all indicators are based on a price, right? It's derived for price, okay? So that means that indicators are kind of, um, it's lagging, right? And you are trying to predict the market, right? You are trying to predict where the market will go, okay? You, are, you, you, you do not use, want to use a lagging indicator to try to predict future prices, okay? So that's rather straightforward, okay? But where I see a lot of uh, new traders trip, right? It's, uh, personally, I've also been like that, right? When I first started, I made the same mistake. So if that's you, not to worry, that's what this video is for, okay? So where I see a lot of them trip is they add every single indicator and then, you know, they look for so-called confirmation, right? With a inverted commas, confirmation. So, um, you know, maybe you are trading and then you, oh, I want to look for a confirmation of the support here. I want to look for a uh, crossover in a MACD. I want to look for the RSI strengthening. You know, you, you draw a million things, okay? But it doesn't help. In fact, it only confuses the hell out of you. Okay, because it is. I mean, it's very difficult to trade with so much indicators, right? And all this noise. Okay, all these are all noise. This is noise. This is noise. This is noise. This is noise. Okay. Now, if you are in uh, my Forex course, right? Uh, my Forex course is free. Okay. I mean, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. Okay. I always stress the importance of uh, using indicators, right? to a com sort of a more like a confirmation, meaning that you already establish your, um, your direction, you already establish your bias. You're just looking for, you know, kind of, a, is, is this, you know, what does this indicator say, right? In fact, when uh, you get more experience, which uh, is what I'm actually doing, uh, I don't even use indicators anymore, okay? When, when I started, I, I, you know, I made this same mistake, I do it this way as well. And it cost me a lot of money in losses, okay? I'm not talking about, you know, 1,000 in losses. I'm not talking about 5,000 in losses. I'm talking about six-figure losses, okay? So that's something that I don't want for you. So uh, if you are doing this currently, okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove everything, okay? You want to start from a clean chart, okay? So now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that uh, do not use indicators, okay? So as I said earlier on, uh, I recommend, uh, you know, my Forex course, I teach about three or four indicators. Uh, that is used as a kind of like a confirmation, okay? You can use, but you must understand the context, okay? You, you must understand the context of what I'm trying to say over here, okay? The context is that you must identify your market structure first, you must identify your buyers first, then you look at the indicator as the last step, okay? Most traders like this, okay, beginner traders, they look at these indicators as the first step, okay? That's not something you want to do, okay? It's so important. So let me just repeat it. The indicators is always the last step of the process, not the first step of the process, okay? If you want to trade, you should already form your hypothesis, you know, your direction, trading direction, really have your bias, your direction, then you look at the indicators. You do not look at your indicators to tell you the direction, okay? So make sure you rewatch this video, you rewatch this part, five times, 10 times, 100 times, if you know you don't get it, because this is so important, okay? This is so important, it'll save you so much money if you, you just do not make this, uh, you know, mistake that I made, okay? So the first thing that you want to do instead of, you, you know, 
deriving your decision based on indicators is you want to go back to the fundamentals of trading. Okay, what do I mean by the fundamentals of trading? Okay, in our other, other videos, right, I talk about um, the step number one is always you start with the market structure. You must identify the market structure. Okay, it's pretty easy. Okay, in fact, sometimes it's so easy that all these so-called, you know, traders who've been struggling for, you know, like five, five months, one year, five years, that they forget about it because it's so easy, right? Market structure means you identify the trend where you ask yourself, uh, you know, is the market trending? Is there a series of higher highs and higher lows or is there a series of lower lows and lower highs? Okay, very simple question. If you do not know how to do that, you are new, okay? Check out my other videos, okay? My other videos, I do teach you, you know, I, I draw it for you. In fact, you know, I can just show it to you quickly in like 20 seconds, okay? In case uh, you are really new, okay? So how do you identify? You just look at the swing points. So in this case, you have a high, you have a low, you have a lower high, and you have a lower low, okay? Very simple. But this is something that you need to always be doing, okay? Always be doing. If you cannot see it, it's a bit confusing, change the line chart, okay? The line chart will help you, okay? I repeated this a lot of times in my videos, but uh, I'm just going to assume that, uh, you know, you are a new trader and this is the first video that you watch. So I want to keep driving home the point that uh, market structure is the first thing that you want to be looking at. Okay, so if you need the full list of you know step by step process, I have also a day trading guide. This strategy that uh one of the strategy that's not the only strategy I use. Okay, one of the strategy I use right in my own trading. Okay, I made a lot of money through that. What you can do is you can download a copy. I'll leave a link in the description. Download the copy of that. Right, I learn how to uh you know learn how to uh, identify market structure first. Do not just go after indicators after indicators under in indicators. Okay. Remember that uh, indicators, as I said at the start, is just being derived from price. So you want to keep your eyes on the price, okay? Price, this is price, okay? Indicators like this, all this EMA, volume, everything else, uh, volume profile, you know, RSI, MACD, all these are all derived from price. So if you clutter your chart like this, right, you are not going to be able to read price well. And guess what happens if you cannot read price well? You're going to lose money. It's that simple. Okay, so make sure you have the right context, understand that indicators work. Okay, I'm not saying it doesn't work, okay, but you have to use it correctly. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, right, just comment down below. Okay, you can email us also, I'm happy to you know, address. Okay, I also have a Telegram channel where I send out my signals uh, daily. Okay, whatever I'm trading, I send it out there. The link is in the description. So make sure you get all these so-called freebies, especially if you are new. Okay, because I made a lot of mistakes in my trading career. Okay, I made a lot of mistakes. And uh, you, if you are smart, you will not make the same mistakes that I make because this YouTube channel, you know, the day trading guide and everything is, is provided for you, right? So that you do not have to make the mistakes. And a lot of our materials, in fact, all of our materials are actually free. We do not charge a single cent. Okay, so if you are smart, right, you will learn from our mistakes and not make the same mistakes. Okay, so hit the subscribe button. Right? If you need anything else, just reach out to us, okay? Thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video.